Hello everyone and welcome back to the Build Challenge where I am joined for the third time, I think, by Scrapman. Hello. Hello, how are we doing? I think they're doing well. I think we need to do the mandatory can everyone hear a Scrapman test <laughs> because I feel like it's often... Testing, testing, hello, hello. It's often a 50-50 whether or not that works. Uh, we can... Oh, wow, I nailed it. Good stuff. Uh, well, just let me know if uh, he's too low or I'm too high or the game is... Yeah, you know the drill. And Scrapman, so do you. We have a bunch of uh, builds to go through. You didn't pick this theme directly, but uh, <laughs> I did pick this theme based on the last theme you picked, which was uh, Shield Art, because I thought mm -hmm. that was a really interesting challenge. And I thought we should do the same with the power coupling, which is not a rope. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of not rope creations we have. Yeah, let's uh, let's just start. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll start with the Xbox here because that's the first folder on mine, and just starting out with Spooky Neon Scrap Spider, which is a zero win, a cadet build. Ooh. Uh, oh, it's even okay, made in your uh, made in your colors. <laughs> yeah, let me spawn in my own version too, and I can play around with it. Do it. Oh, we're getting a bunch of new followers All here. Right. Welcome. Here we go. I posted in my Discord for people to come join. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Welcome, scrappers, to the build challenge. Oh, it has a little laser that pops up. Oh, Ra yeah, there we go. Raccoony, thank you for the follow. I feel like it when Where you when I put it out in build mode, there's like a whip sticking out of it. Oh. But I yeah, um, I just pressed Q and it shot out a, w a web. Was it Q? Uh, I think so. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Need to hold it down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's not rope. It's uh, it's actually a spider web. <laughs> <laughs> it's everything it's but silk. uh, it's everything oh. but the putt racer block. I feel like. <laughs> oh god. Now I'm kind of curious, really quick. Um, do these power couplers on the legs actually? make a difference. I'm going to delete some off of one leg and see if that leg is broken now. Okay, they're just more of an aesthetic thing. I was wondering if they were functional or just purely aesthetic. They do add, add a nice aesthetic, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the uh, the silk silk shooting is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's a, that's a really creative use of it. Mr. Snob, thank you for following. Wow, I've never gotten this many followers in one stream already, I think, and we're only five <laughs> minutes into it, so welcome, everyone. Uh, actually, my friend told me Scrap sent something. I asked what he said, that he's live on Twitch, and I just went, I'd, I'm joining. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> you have some loyal followers. All right. Let's take a look at the next one from the Xbox. Okay, Pogfrog, thank you for following also. This is wild. Uh, Floating Island by uh, Carap Carapincho? I hope I'm saying that right. Let's try Ooh. it. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is some of the stuff I was expecting once these uh, the yeah. beam opacity setting it that I saw there. You know, the interesting thing is we had the f the floating block glitch before and it was actually going to be fixed, but there were some people who really enjoyed building with the floating block glitch. And then uh, one of the developers here said, hey, what if we just give them a block that does what the floating uh, block ah. glitch does? And that's actually how the power coupling was made, was to make the glitch legitimate. Oh, well, yeah. I didn't, yeah, that's awesome. So wait, what was the original intention of the power coupler? Was it specifically pod racers or was that just kind of like an additional thing after the fact? What was floating blocks or pod racers the the first idea? I think the first idea was was a floating block thing, but then we were oh. also like how how are we going to make that an interesting block? Is it just a block that makes other blocks float? And then I think you were sort of uh, brainstorm to uh, the pot racer and just you know the ability to make it invisible so you can have both the floating oh. block and something new to play around with a little bit of background lore it's yeah. actually a floating block block it's a floating <laughs> block block <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a nice little floaty island and horror Danny right. thank you for following I have never yeah, I must we must have gotten 20 new followers here in the, f in the past 10 minutes that's amazing 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> HK Pig, thank you for following. Uh, Riker for the win has made this uh, hologram of the space sector. Also from the Xbox. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, with the passenger seat, I kind of want to take it into airborne and then land next to some chirpos and then have the chirpos fill out the seats. <laughs> Wait, so is this... Wait, this is the space sector map? Uh, I think... I see the garbage carrier at the top and then I think I see Dune with the sandworm coming out. Oh, okay. And... I was confused by like the sun in the center. I'm like, did I miss something in the center? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the asteroid. The the infamous mm. Scrapman asteroid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I definitely see Michael Terra as well. And having Looks a like there's a camera block on it too. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, I can do several camera angles here. I just want to check out those camera angles. Here we go. Oh, two. All right, we got this one, and we got this one. Hey, is the weekly challenge included console builds? Yes, but it doesn't include all builds. There are many submissions, especially when Scrapman is here. So I have to cut a few, otherwise the stream would be six hours long. Uh, but <laughs> but I do include console builds as well. Yes. All right, off to a great start here. Next up is Captain Clutch. He has uh, five wins already, so this is a, a veteran. The Laser Trebuchet 3000, based on medieval siege weapons with fu a futuristic twist, only use when slash reset until lasers are aligned with ammo tray. Reset again if tractor beam doesn't catch payload. Oof. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay. I need I need to read that again. Quick. I've already forgotten what it said. The sales guy, thank you for following. Reset until lasers are aligned with ammo tray. Okay. Okay, there we go. I think that's the thing it was supposed to do. Oh. But I think I uh. might have pressed <laughs> things in the wrong order. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, we need to take it over here, I think, because that's just hanging off the... Okay. Oh, that looks good. Oh, these are just different camera angles. Okay. Um... There we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, it it's not the farthest. No. But <laughs> it works like a trebuchet. <laughs> you need to set up the trebuchet right next to the castle you're sieging. <laughs> so <laughs> just hope they don't have like anything to stop you there. Let's just see if we can do it again here. Wow, that's set up. Oh. Uh oh. Somewhere <laughs> <wrong> now. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. It has a tractor beam attached as well. Yeah, that's I what I was throwing the dynamite. Yeah. I like the counterweight there with the rockets. It's a very futuristic trebuchet. The age old adage sticks and stones may break my bones, but Johannes will always break your build. Yeah, that's not completely wrong, but hey, I did. Oh, oh, there it goes. That was not too bad. Man, that was flawless. First, first try. Yeah. Where are all the arrows? Oh, the arrows are. Oh, cool. Yeah, a lot of different camera angles. Yeah. How do I undo the camera angles? How do I go back to normal <laughs> camera? <laughs> I don't know. This is your life I now. Pressed, I pressed too many of them. <laughs> KJ Play 88, thank you for following. This is definitely a rope, though, says Metalburger. Man. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that, that is true. That is true. Oh, there we go. Nice. That's the farthest anyone, any one of us <laughs> has thrown it so far, I think. I like how it goes just far enough to destroy the end of itself. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Collateral damage. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Next up is the skeleton by I am I am D B Pooper. What a name. <laughs> <laughs> Very mature. Oh, nice. It's a skeleton. Okay. Here we go. A, a jumpy skeleton. Oh wait! Oh my! Oh, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, I did too. No, I had no way I got back up. Um, I like what how. These, what are these controls? It's dancing like very elegantly. I feel like the way it yeah, has the head like spins around too. Yeah. It looks like it kind of looks like it's trying to like ballroom dance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a, a ballet. Like it's very yeah. like elegant. <laughs> Yeah, the flexing on the power coupling just adds for some unique kind of <laughs> more more like realistic looking animations. Yeah. With the way that they flex and bend, it's less robotic and yeah. less rigid. It's like a drunk guy in a mocap suit. Okay, it does have a walking animation, but it loses balance really easy. Oh, it jumps too. Okay, space is actually like a jump. Yeah. But yeah, it keeps losing balance <laughs> so easy. It's a very... Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Oh, and I fell. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, if you start walking when you're nice and balanced, you get like a couple of steps in before it's over. It's like, have you ever played Quop? Yep. yep. <laughs> this is sort of like that. Oh, this is a very elegant dancer. Spinning yeah. in place also looks great. Oh, I, until you lose balance. <laughs> I really like the use of pipes and power couplers as ribcage. Oh yeah. Wait, how how did that how does that work? Okay, there's some invisible ones in the middle. And then what are they all just like flex? Oh I see. Oh wow. They're just compressed into each other so they it causes a bend. Oh I see. Yeah, the rib cage is actually really clever. So that's what they look like kinda scarier with one currently inside of me. Yeah, I think that's Unfortunately, a fate we all share. We are just filled with spooky skeletons. How do you pick which ones to put on the stream? Is it just the most popular ones? No, I just go with what looks good. I actually don't even try them. I just have the thumbnails to go off of sometimes. And if I'm in doubt, I, I do go in and test them just to make sure I'm not missing out on anything absolutely amazing. Um, all right, let's move on to Ace. 2011 Blueprint is just the name. I don't see any other name. Oh, this is convoluted. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa. Whoa, okay. Well, there's only a couple of buttons. Oh, oh. this is like the oh, classic, oh, like, oh, yeah. carrot on a stick. Yeah. Thing. Well, what is it, like an oil <laughs> can for a robot? <laughs> That's amazing, exactly actually. Clever. That is actually that walking animation is so good. And once again, it's definitely rope. It's so smooth. Yeah. Right, what do the other buttons do? You can turn around. Oh. Like he has yaw, <laughs> perfect yaw. On control oh, and what, shift. Okay, that's what left shift and left control does. Oh, okay. Wow, this thing, the walking is kind of crazy on this. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed. So is it a robot pirate sort of thing trying to make a big mech move or something? I don't I don't yeah, think it looks like it's a oil can yeah. being held in front of a robot, but <laughs> I don't know what exactly is the thing <laughs> in the sled. No. But it's really well made. Quite a very very unique idea. I doubt anyone else has submitted something like this. The turning feels like it's too smooth for some reason. <laughs> yeah, there's something eerie about it. <laughs> yeah. Why does it why does it turn so smoothly? I don't like it's so weird. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Please tell Scrapman to do a live stream. He's literally doing one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean technically, yeah. Technic Might not be on my channel, but I'm live right now. <laughs> he is live. It's not just like a soundboard where I just play Scrapman, <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Scrapman voices. It's not AI either. I guarantee you, it's the real deal. All right, last Xbox build is GC Ellis. Oh Lord of the Skies! Atop the clouds, you are held captive by one 
uh, you cannot call your own. You see him as a sacred, transcendent figure. For I am the ruler, the ruler of the skies, savior of the turbos. It echoed. I was feeling creative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Let's see what this is. Looks very, uh... Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Can All he right, fly? Oh yeah, yeah, he can definitely the up fly. Arrow. Oh, the lightning! The From light the clouds. Oh, that is that is genius. That's really clever. Okay, yeah, that that's some creative use of those power couplers. Dude, this is amazing, actually. Oh, he's holding he's holding you in one of his hands. Yeah, and he's holding that's like cool. a like a. Like a star fragment or lightning or something. Yeah, some kind of gemstone or something. Yeah, this is cool. And uh, have you noticed the frequency in the lighting? They actually shut on and off. Mhm. Mm so it actually looks. That's a really, really, really clever use of it. I think. Yeah, the lightning is definitely probably the more unique use I've seen of them so far. Yeah, for sure. Oh man, we're in for a treat with this challenge, I think. We're already yep. off to a, this is just the Xbox builds. <laughs> off to a really, really good start here. Oh. Uh. Huh. Both up and the down arrow make me go up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that as well. <laughs> his his goals are beyond human comprehension. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only ascending is allowed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how godlike he is. Yeah, I did think it said something in the description. Uh, he's a transcendent figure. I guess that's true. <laughs> All right, moving on to Steam. Oh, we even got the creator in the chat here, who's uh, happy about the praise he's getting. You deserved every bit of it. That was a very, very cool submission. Uh, first Steam submission is the Jellyfish by Jamand. The Jellyfish, this is not the build I have put the most effort into. Uh, what a way to sell yourself. But I think it came out okay. I guess this build is a demonstration of how the power couplings can be used. In addition to this, I made kind of an animation with the shields. I recommend using this build at night. The shields are more visible then. All right, mm. let me just... Uh, Ooh. Wow. How fancy. Oh, yeah. Can I move? Shield and power coupler art. Yeah. We're getting a two for one here. Whoops. Kind of a hard landing when you spawn in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Not really sure how to counter that. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can find it. It's hard to. F my list of Steam creations in a, is in a different order than yours. Uh, I, we usually have that problem. I don't really know how to fix it. I've tried numbering them, but Trailmakers doesn't really care about that. <laughs> I wonder if I can move Where this. Is it? it doesn't seem like I can. But there is a the jellyfish. There is a space bind. It just doesn't do anything on mine. Oh wait. Oh wait, it needs to go in the water, I think. It has propellers in that the back. Maybe. That, that <laughs> would make sense. <laughs> yes, it, it would totally. <laughs> yeah, I see the chat spamming water now. I think that's what we call a Johannes moment. Oh yeah, this works. Uh oh, my my uh, tentacles are tangled. <laughs> yeah, I know firsthand from your videos how the power coupling can uh, act up a <laughs> bit sometimes. You do uh, you do have a, a way of really putting our features to the test sometimes <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> breaking them in horrible fashion. <laughs> I see uh, some of that's the, the most the most fun part about it. <laughs> that's you. Whenever you release a new video, I see at least like four devs just watching it in horror. That <laughs> you, <Yeah. laughs> you just completely break it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is definitely very, very aesthetic creation. Yeah, very cool. Someone asked, what is Scrapman's Twitch? I don't know if that's a thing I, you do. I do not use Twitch. You do not use Twitch. Yeah. I'm just YouTube. Just YouTube. There you have it. 
he is uh, live right now on our channel uh, for the third time. Uh, he has uh, been as kind as to join us for another build challenge, which is always a good time, I feel like. Um, let's see, next one. Maybe I should just spawn it in while I read so you have a chance to see what yeah, it is yeah. I spawned in. It's the Paramotor 174 by Mr. Smith, a highly stable aircraft with reasonably dev-proof controls. <laughs> This paramotor is great for those lazy Sunday afternoons. AD for roll is to pitch, space for thrust. To descend, turn off the propeller by pressing space, and then control the glide by tapping S, Ooh. then turn on the propeller to go back up. This built by this this built by design will climb, so it's great for going AFK. <laughs> so yeah, if you need to go to the bathroom or something, I guess this is apparent apparently the build to do it with. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. It may I be dev proof, but apparently it's not scrap man proof. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Alright, let's try this again. If I can fly it, anyone can. I think that's the rule in Trailmakers. There we go. Alright, I'm up in the air. Oh, the paint job is great on this. Really good. Like, yeah, the color coordination with the power couplers and the paint. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah, yeah, very good looking build. I want to get up a bit high and then uh, soar down majestically. Yeah, landing this thing will be interesting. Rocket League paint. Yeah, it's definitely. You're onto something there, Unify, I think. This does have a Rocket League aesthetic to it. Oh, I gained a lot of speed. Oh my god, right. it's actually I'm really satis now. satisfying to glide. Oh, that's... Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, kind of hard to stay upright after landing, but I managed to avoid taking damage at least. <laughs> yeah, I broke off my skis, but other than that, uh, <laughs> I think it uh, was actually a pretty smooth landing. Yeah, that's cool. And the way that they had to use the, the pistons to get all the angles. Yeah. Like, multi-tiered. Captain Clutch asks, does it have boat mode? Sadly not, but maybe we'll get a, a boat mode build somewhere, sometime later. All right, next up is uh, Cadet League Zero Win build, but it looks very impressive judging by the thumbnail. It is the Aerobotex Beyblade by Edifish. E I was busy with the build. Oh, I'm pulling it out. I was busy for the build for this challenge, but at the very last moment something came to my mind. A Beyblade that I wanted to submit, so yes, enjoy it. And a little trip and a little tip, press space to stop spinning. To scrap man, you really make great videos and I hope you continue to do so. Oh. I keep I'll keep trying. I agree. They are even right. even though you are ruthless to our uh, game <laughs> engine sometimes, I, I do agree all in all. Whoa. The stopping spinning is kind of disturbingly quick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it loses. And it just stays upright, too. It, yeah, it loses zero balance. There must be a, yep. a gyro in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. I like the chirpo in the back there. Can I, I move? Need to spawn closer together. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's have a fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> too bad we don't have a, a good arena on this map for Beyblade stuff. Oh yeah, there is actually an arena, right? But I don't really think we can yeah. move. <laughs> yeah, we need it. We need a <laughs> slanted ground. <laughs> uh oh. oh there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, look at that. that was fancy. <laughs> oh damn, that was pretty cool actually. What? The chirpo is your bottom feet sticking out? Oh, wait a minute. What? Hold up. Oh my god, it is. My uh, my butt is sticking out on the chirpo oh. back here. If you look in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was its mouth or like it a musk. It looks like a face. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's my boots too? I thought it was... <laughs> yeah. I thought he made a chirpo. But the eyes... <laughs> The, the boots are perfect because it has the pupils yeah. and like the white stuff and then the beak is my butt. Oh. Does my character stick out at all? Oh no, it doesn't. Dude. Just, 
Wow. That's actually a... That's kind of crazy how it looks <laughs> just like a face. It's yeah. Got, like eyebrows and like, everything. <laughs> yeah, I totally <laughs> thought it was part of the build. I didn't realize it was my character. That's the most amazing accidental <laughs> clipping I've ever seen. Nice, that does add some points to that build, I feel like, even though I bet you... If, if you intended to do that, you are one clever man. That would be a uh, very next level. All right. Okay, so this one is uh, kind of a funny, because the next one is Lucrum, and he's a tester. So he's had access to the power coupling for a long time, and therefore I, uh, I made a new league to make it fair. So the testers compete in their own league called the Early Bird mm. League. But since Lucrum is the only tester who has submitted anything, he, ca he has kind of won this league. Because he's the only one who <laughs> <laughs> he's the only one who submitted in this league, so I'm a little bit worried about all the. Wait, whoa, what? Oh, okay. oh, wait, oh, that's not what I was expecting. I think it needs to be night. Is it supposed to be zero G or? Uh, okay, hold up. Let me just. Wait, am I? What's going on? I feel like something's happening. I don't see anything right now. Did I not read the description? I probably didn't. Yeah, I don't think you did. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, oh, it's a floating block glitch. Uh, Goddamn, Glucom, this is why we made the power coupling. Okay, so I need to assign it to a transform slot, right? There we go, and then I need to get in a seat, I guess, maybe just any seat will do. And then transform. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, it's the flashbulb logo. Wow. There we go. So you used a floating block glitch with the new floating block Block. <laughs> Man, this guy cannot get enough of floating blocks. Whoa. That's a really cool cool way to use the power couplers. It's just LEDs now. Yep. <laughs> this is actually really cool. It looks really great. Wow. Nice. Well, I think he wins the uh, early bird league. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, Lucrum. You already have all the trophies, so I don't really know That's what... That's definitely uh, my favorite creation of all the early birds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to top that. Let's just be able to see something again here. All right. Let's see the next one. Which is Flying Spaghetti Monster by Firestorm. This is uh, the reigning champion. This guy won the... Uh, Cadet League in the pirate build challenge. He built, built a very nice pirate ship. And now he's back to defend his title with the flying spaghetti monster. Was there a description again I forgot to read? I feel like that might have been. <laughs> this is great. I mean, it's not rope, it's pasta, so. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count. All right, there's a, there's a bunch of buttons on this one though. Oh, there is no description, all right. It's not me for once. Okay, we can lean. We can. Oh my goodness! We've got weapons. Apparently, we got detachable. Bla I don't know what those are. Detachable noodles. Detachable noodles. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, mine is uh, having a mind of its own. <laughs> it's like uh, no noodle drones. Some sort. Wait, hold on. Let me. Put us on separate teams here, so we can actually. Oh yeah. Have have some fun here. Uh -oh. Let's see if I can hit you with a noodle drone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It might work. <laughs> I don't have the best aim. <laughs> this is a very chaotic build. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Power couplers make great noodles. All right, man, that's uh, and oh, it has uh, meatballs as well. Yep, 
under its, uh, I want to say arms, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if that if that no makes any sense. Noodly appendages. Noodly appendages. I like that. <laughs> I cannot seem to. Okay. But bye, flying spaghetti monster. I can't delete it. <laughs> <laughs> it just flies away every time. All right. Awesome. Next up is Nut Rope? Question mark by Yidify. Flashbulb is so adamant about the power couplings not being rope, and when this challenge was announced, uh, I had a brain wave. In the UK, there is a brand of margarine. I can't wait to see where this is going. <laughs> Basically, cold spread butter called I can't believe it's mm. not butter. So, oh yeah, I just took that and turned it into I can't believe it's not rope, and but a simple power coupling contraption inside walk into it for a surprise i don't expect to win however i think you might find it funny and well you never know fun fact actually there was the meme going around on our internal uh, communications channel with the, i can't believe it's not rope uh, someone <laughs> photoshopped that so we actually also uh, had sort of the same idea as you did here at flashbulb uh should i be first person whoa I got Oi. Oh. on here. Wait. Oh. Oh, he even wrote it All on right. the side there. So wait, are you supposed to get out of the seat and No, I think you just uh, just press space. Oh, press space. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What happens if you walk into it? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what he meant by surprise, I well, think. That does something. Try that again. Oh. oh. Well, it lasts a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Destroys itself. Oh, my, the spaghetti monsters are returning. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, there's an interesting one. Ha interesting thing happening with yours. Yeah. What? How is how is it that? Oh, it's it's strangely like stable and slow. Huh. Yeah. I don't know if I would call it stable, but <laughs> it's it's something. I can't believe it's not a power coupling or butter. That was fun. That was uh. Oh, that that looked like one of your videos when we walked into it there. It was like, yep. you couldn't have done that better yourself, I feel like. <laughs> All right. This is a really fun build. I agree. Um, let's check out the Nexus Butt Boxing League by Nexus. Welcome to the Butt Boxing League. Do you have what it takes to be the next champions? Grab a partner and find out. Oh, I think this might be like a... Maybe a multi-build of some kind. Or like a thing where we can both participate oh oh you can just jump out of the thing oh whoa this is cool oh oh that's very cool okay let's let's go all right oh <laughs> you got me all right oh, Wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it i've this... been defeated by the power coupler <laughs> this block is so all random right. i Here swear to go. god <laughs> all right let's go that is actually really cool for ears, though. Oh, oh my goodness! What a sucker punch! I've lost, <laughs> I've lost everything. I like, I like the way it runs. Oh, oh did I see a shield? Whoa! Yeah, I didn't <laughs> see the shield. How the hell did you? <laughs> I like how it also spawns in like the corner of a boxing ring, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's a win by Apparently default, I, just, I think. I can't escape the power coupling. Nope. Hmm. You have oh, an S for the shield? Oh, you can totally, like, shield yourself. That's pretty cool. If you hold S, it's like a blocking function. Oh, it even takes yeah. his gloves together. Yeah, he puts his gloves in, and, like, a shield shows up, too. That's pretty cool. Oh, I keep forgetting that a boxing ring is going to spawn in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That was, my spe that was my ultimate attack. <laughs> yeah, you completely ignored my shield. Oh, those are balloons for for boxing gloves. Yeah. That sounds like the boxing gloves just floated off into the, <laughs> the sky. 
I don't even know why I didn't even register that they're balloons. That's actually pretty clever. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. I don't think the shield oh. even protects against me. I'm moonwalking now, apparently. I lost give, a leg. Give you a little jab here. <laughs> <laughs> I lost a glove too. I I got no legs and no <laughs> gloves. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, the balloon boxing the balloon boxing gloves are really cool. Fight your spaghetti guard. I don't think I can reach him. <laughs> I would like to. All right. If we find something else with weapons, then uh, we'll take down the spaghetti god. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, judging us. I think we need to go in the water for this next one. This is pain train addicts. Uh, Spalant class armored cruiser. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. An armored cruiser with powerful guns, a torpedo, and torpedo nets. Torpedo nets. A torpedo nets. Interesting. This has boat mode for sure. This has to have boat mode. Oh, I fired a torpedo. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I guess I should spawn one in and we should try to torpedo each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it has boat mode. There we go. Amazing. Oh, the power couplers are like... Wait, what does that do? When you press X, it sort of folds. Oh no! <laughs> I, may have, I may have shot some some rounds at you. Oh, I think maybe it's shield. If try firing a torpedo at me. How do you? What's the torpedo button? I think it's space. Um, I think uh, I think it works as like a torpedo shield. The rope oh, thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. I, yeah, I just need to stop. So All you right. can actually yeah, how hit do me. I, how do I turn? The turning isn't isn't the best. Oh, I should just do the repair thing. All right, here we go. All right, torpedo off. Let's see if this net does its thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I lost quite a lot of blocks. <laughs> that is so satisfying. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, here I come. Oh, wait. I need to do go boat mode here. Oh, you can fold up the, uh, the the nets too with X. Yeah, I noticed that. But I don't know if they're supposed to... Uh... Wait, let me just read it again. What are the yeah, torpedo nets cool. supposed to do? It doesn't say... I, I'm, I'm assuming they're supposed to block the torpedo, but I feel like the explosion power is so strong that it still damages through the net. Yeah, probably. Let's see if I can hit one here. Go! No! That's not gonna hit. Oh, maybe after your repair there, <laughs> I think. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Yeah, the net definitely catches it. Yeah. It probably does less damage than if the net wasn't there. Yeah, for sure. Here, actually, let's try another one. Um, oh, here, I'll... How do I get away from you? Alright, I will here oh there we go all right i'm gonna fold my nets in and now send a torpedo towards me okay torpedo off all right no net protection this time oh there we go that looked like a hard right. hit and then let's do one more with the nets out same position pretty much all right torpedo out oh, oh hold on back oh. up back up Ah, oh, that went to the back. Yeah, <laughs> should probably hit hit it in the same spot if we need any. Uh... Yeah, you need like right in the middle. Yeah, let me just try to align here. There we go. I think that's good. Ah, oh, dang it! I, the engines are like they they they're toggling instead of like just going when I press it. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll stay still this time. There we go. That looks good. There we go. It's off. All right. Oh, that's yeah, nice be and direct. centered torpedo net. Oh, it went over the net. <laughs> <laughs> it All right. bounced over the net. The torpedo net failed me. Let's try one more time here. That looks good. Uh, maybe a bit off. Uh, oh, that time the torpedo net helped. Yeah. Yeah, it goes like it goes almost through the entire creation without it. So it it just it just protects a little bit of damage. 
Uh, that's all you need, right? It's the... It's yeah. Just the marginals. Alright. Cool. <clears throat> uh, Panna Can asks, what is boat mode? I, uh, it hap it was like a thing that started with patch bits when we were doing a, a challenge where I accidentally called broadside boat mode because I didn't remember mm -hmm. what it was. Just shooting from the side. Uh, 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 for lack of better words, I said boat mode. And then it just sort of stuck. So that's broadside is, is what I mean. Broadside for stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait. Oh, huh? This guy has drawings in his description? What? what? But this one's by Detail. It's the Vivgardisto Ku. Wait, how did he do this? Crane deer, the best kind of deer. Shiny, just like Johannes Bald's butt. Just kidding. Yeah. I have never seen this before, this description. Did he do illegal stuff to the game? I wonder. Oh, this is um, almost 700 complexity. This is similar to the, the robot one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So when I said definitely no one else has had this idea, little did <laughs> I know that someone else had this exact idea. <laughs> it can complain a little bit by not catching the... Rock. Someone says Unity text oh, formatting. That yeah, sound. That might be it. That's a cool creature. Yeah. That's a lot. Oh, it's got a magnet on it, too. Yeah. A, a tractor beam. I'll go, adjusting I'm going to terminology. <laughs> 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 I'm going to try to pick you up here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh no, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull you into the depths here. If I can, oh, you should. Oh, no, no, oh. no. <laughs> this this plan has backfired. <laughs> oh god damn! Over. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you ripped my head clean off. That I lost my own head too. Brutal. All mm. right. Well, that's definitely rope. That's <laughs> that's definitely rope. I feel like. People are not respecting the uh, name of the <laughs> challenge, which was not rope. I feel like a lot of people went for rope. Uh, next they even up, colored it brown like rope. Yeah, it's really is the last slap in the face with that color. <laughs> <laughs> next up is the head banging chirpo by Terra King. Uh, I know Johannes loves chirpos, and I know Scrapman has a metal band called Catarinth. Fun fact: I just stumbled upon uh, that uh, on Spotify today. Your EP. Oh really? Yeah, oh, that cool. was that was really cool. I'm kind of a metalhead, so it was kind of oh awesome, I'm glad. nice. <laughs> I I, uh, I listened to it today. It was really good. I didn't know you could shred like that. God damn! Well, thank you. <laughs> Very good. If you don't know, go uh, search it on uh, Spotify right now. Go give him a follow. Um, so I hope you're both going to like this. It's also in Scrapman's colors. If you didn't already notice, uh, I tried making the chorus of deviate from Catarinth because I liked it the most and I thought it would be relatively easy but I wasn't able to find any notes for it and I wasn't able to <laughs> reproduce it without them even with seven years of keyboarding experience. Very Johannes proof. A day to headbang. Alright, looking forward to this. Be careful not to summon Spaghetti Guard and take a look at the tattoos. Oh, how is this? Is this tied in? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. Oh, it even has your uh, your uh, yeah. artist artist name. What is it called? Yeah, that's awesome. Catarinth. Guitar strings for the with the power couplers and then that the Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. What happens when you headbang too hard? Yeah. That's really cool. That is actually really cool. <laughs> It's also fun because I just randomly stumbled upon it today and then someone mentioned it, mentions it here. Well, oh, that's whoa. wrong creation. <laughs> <laughs> you should, uh, you should uh, fly out to here. Copenhagen this summer. It's our uh, metal festival here. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah, could have a, ha have a few beers and just listen to metal all day. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. Oh, oh, yeah, it's very, <laughs> very sensitive headbanging. Yeah. 
I, I think that might have been what he meant by don't be careful. Oh, not how just did this happen? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? I ended up spawning upside down somehow. <laughs> I think if, maybe the spaghetti god is kind of like triple metal Satan, you know? So like when metal mm -hmm. bands usually like hail Satan and all that, maybe triple um, metal bands are like uh, spaghetti monster believers. Mm -hmm. All right, that was really cool. Uh, next up, oh, I've kind of been looking forward to this one actually, uh, by Tugboat. He has one win already and it's the house from up. Oh, wow. And it's music too, the Rubber Bandits uh, theme. There it goes. Going up. <laughs> he actually made, like, he took a screenshot and then he put, like, the text, like, the up, he made the up movie title with this. And at first I thought he just posted the original poster, because you... The house was like really far away until I noticed it was made in Trailmakers. <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah, those balloons look really good. Especially like the bigger ones with the new paint. Yeah. The new paint jobs. For sure. That's a really well built house. Just some nice uh, pirate shanty. Uh, music to go with it because apparently it's a pirate house oh wait oh wait a minute uh, he made he even made the old guy from up he's standing oh, yeah. on the, uh, standing on the porch a sherpa. <laughs> looks as grumpy as the guy in the movie wait i want to see the inside here whoa there's the gramophone man that's crazy can't wait for the rescue pack no me neither i can't wait till we get to show you a little uh, show you a little more of it um okay let's see what we have here scrap man's carousel of death by lou 56 only one for both of you needed okay so we can both use this one okay um it's a cadet league build this carousel is designed to function automatic so your hands doesn't push the wrong buttons again. <laughs> the Scrapman themed ride is divided in three levels of intensity, divided visually via smoke. Jump in and try different camera settings. The ride starts after 10 seconds and lasts for around 1 minute and one minute and 20 seconds. I recommend to watch the carousel one more time without hopping in. Pretty satisfying. Oh, I need to get out of the free cam mode. Okay, it's automatic. Right. Said I was. Yeah, 10 seconds. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's got my logo on top. I just noticed. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna go first person for a minute. <laughs> this is fun. I wonder if it's gonna do like the tilting. Oh, it totally is. Oh, I can see the steering hinge in there. Oh, the smoke as well. <laughs> we got smoke effects. Oh, yeah. It's there it is. There's the tilting. Nice. <laughs> oh, and the gear is actually like the is rotating, you know, independent of the letters. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's very well made. I feel like someone always makes a really good job of making your logos whenever we do these build challenges together. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very brief... Wait! Oh, okay. look, at, look at us go! <laughs> oh, and we fly, we're, we're actually alive still. Okay, yeah. wow. Wait, this... That's kind of important. Oh, and we're, not, we're definitely not alive anymore. Okay. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to live on that one. It's like one of those uh, carnival amusement park that gets set up in like a day. But they, uh, none of the yeah. rides are like up to regulation at all. <laughs> I was actually impressed that that was able to explode and like maintain the parts intact that you wanted intact. <laughs> yeah, that was that was beautifully planned destruction. All right, let's see the Aston Martin DB5 convertible by Meow 
Disclaimer, power couplings are exceptionally buggy. No way, that's one way to tell us. I have ironed out <laughs> as many bugs as possible, but it still might have some weird forces occasionally. Hello, 007. I hear you have a new mission. Uh, as I'm providing you with your vehicle, we have jam-packed it again with lots of gadgets for you. As usual, we have installed front-facing machine guns concealed in the front bumper. You can activate with the left mouse button on your controls. Flamethrowers on one. There's a bomb with a 2.5 second fuse hidden in the undercarriage that you can drop by press pressing two. Finally, you may be wondering why it's a convertible this time. We have disguised as a lightweight Kevlar glider in the roof. Since you seem to have a lot of our cars off cliffs, you can deploy this with space and discard it with three. Mm. Okay. I feel like I need to take this into like a uh, more like land. I feel like it has mm -hmm. a. Oh wow, that's oh, looks great though. Yeah, it looks really great. Wow. There's the flamethrower. Amazing. And there are the bombs. Oh, here, oh. let me go over to land with you. Where are you? I just uh, whoa. That's weird. I don't see you on the map. Oh, that's that I because can... I put us on different teams. I think. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, there's the glider. That uh, I shouldn't have done that yet. Here, let's. Oh, we got guns on the front too. Okay, cool. Oh, number two is to drop like a bomb. Oh wait, is that dynamite? Yeah, that's dynamite. I need to drive off a, a cliff with this. I feel like with the glider, or maybe just go down a really steep hill. Catapults could work. Oh yeah. Or what was the glider number two? Oh, space was the glider, I think. Space is the glider, I think, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, is it gonna work? Oh. Oh, it wasn't the softest landing. And then three to detach the glider. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive. This is a pretty well done vehicle. Ooh. I mean, it 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 might be a little. Oh no, I think I think I landed without losing a single block there. I didn't I, have quite as much luck. I didn't actually. I did actually have a, quite a smooth landing there. Man, Let me see if I can actually glide off of a cliff. Here we go. Oh, it's not. No. <laughs> nope. That... I just drove. I just drove down the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds incredibly underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, I, I was totally thinking I was just going to fly. Uh, I think I'm going to try the ramp here. Maybe that'll. Uh... Oh, that's, pr that's a much better idea. <laughs> oh. Let's, let's see here. Here we go. Oh, hell yeah. This is a uh, car worthy of uh, an international man of mystery. Hey, another smooth landing. All right, Let's see if I can pull this off. Try oh, using gonna drive up there. boosters. Is that not the flamethrower? Right, and oh, no. woo! All right, on my way down. Oh, yeah, I see you. Come on, stop landing. Oh, <laughs> I lost my front end. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a bit rough. Yep. Okay, that's a really elegant build. Mm-hmm. So smooth and like, uh, just, yeah, everything just works on it. Very James Bond. Extremely James Bond. Um, let's see, next up we have the <coughs> Piper PA-28 Ch Cherokee, is that how you say it? Uh, tribe? Cherokee, I think, right? This is uh, Vag XT. he's another defending champion uh, from the last challenge. Uh, if the plane yours rolls aggressively, just respawn it. At the time of the Cherokee's <coughs> introduction, uh, Piper's primary single-engined all-metal aircraft was the Piper PA-24 Comanche 
a larger, faster aircraft with retractable landing gear and a constant speed propeller. Carl Berge, Fred Weick and John Thorpe designed the Cherokee as a less expensive alternative to the Comanche with lower manufacturing parts caused to uh, compete with the Cessna 172. Wow, this is an entire Wikipedia article, I feel like. (laughs) It, it literally it says Wikipedia. Oh, it says <laughs> <laughs> it says Wikipedia at the bottom. <laughs> it liter- literally is. Yeah. <laughs> it literally is just a Wikipedia article. Uh, okay. Nice. We got uh, we got takeoff. All right, here goes nothing. I spawned over at the aircraft carrier. Oh, this takes off great. Yeah. I hold hard. Oh, I, I see the. The wings on the signs on the letters is actually pretty cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so create some uh better aerodynamics I guess. We got yaw. Left control, I wholeheartedly support the message it's carrying. Just chirpo. <laughs> Just chirpo, yep. Yeah. I think we can all get behind that. Yeah, it looks great. And uh, once again, this is definitely rope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really surprised at how like how much this thing, how easy this thing is to fly. Yeah, it's very smooth. Also, looks good. Like mm-hmm. it has, uh... Oh wait, I think I turned off the engines by accident, but that's no <laughs> problem for it. It just takes right off again. Oh wait, I have not even pressed control. What does that do? I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. That yaw, right? That's Q and E. Oh. Control is. At a water landing. I'm gonna try to land on the aircraft carrier here. Control is for flaps. Someone says. Oh, yeah. It's like a like a trim for the flaps. <laughs> wow, I cannot. Probably gives a little bit more lift. I cannot read chat and land an airplane at the same time. <laughs> I just found out this is. I need to focus. No. No. <laughs> Oops. That's not how it was supposed to go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, let's go back to the aircraft carrier here. <coughs> all right, neat. <coughs> <coughs> Next up is whoa! <laughs> Just uh, got a scrap man flying past me there. On I the have screen. a message for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I support this message. Um, let's see here. Where did it? there we go? The duck stunt paraglider. Ooh, another paraglider by Out of Ducks. Uh, engine. Oh, sorry, I was just baffled by that name for a second. Out of ducks. <laughs> I hope you. I hope you find some again. Engine on off is one. Uh, increased throttle is uh, spaces. Increased throttle. AD is roll. QE is ground steering. I like how there's no decreased throttle. All right, I'm ready. Engine on. Wait, what was the engine again? I, I number just, one. Oh, that's number <laughs> one. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Increased throttle. Oh, 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 there we go. Woo. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, all right, we're going. Parachutes are, or well, paragliders are a thing now. Where do you see what the challenge is for each week? The next challenge is always announced at the the end of this stream, so you don't know what the next challenge is, and neither do I now that I think about it. So thank you for reminding me. I like these power, these uh, paraglider builds. Mm-hmm. Very, uh, it's very soothing to glide. Yeah. Hello, Pentarac. Thank you for following. Nice. This is fun. I bet I can. I bet I can actually land this thing without getting ahead oh, of myself. I, can, I am not going to land. <laughs> I just flew right into the side of the carrier. I thought I could pull up in time. Oh, I did it. 
Nice. That's probably the best landing I have ever done in my uh, year-long career as a trail maker. <laughs> <coughs> I like how you also just like stopped me before I rolled off the, uh, <laughs> the edge there. Right. All right, next up is Sami. Uh, another build challenge winner here. The Sacred Seraphim. Seraphim? Video game character. The Seraphim is a descendant of the m mystical battle angels from the eras of the wars of the gods. The gods granted the Seraphim celestial magic to strike down their opponent. This one is armed with a BFG and is waiting for your command. Power couplings are mainly used for aesthetic reasons, but also a flexible connector. Wait, he only plays this for a year? Yeah, I was hired about February last year, oh. so uh, it's it's not been much more than a year now. That was a really well built. Oh, wow, like, yeah. Creation. Like, just. It, it's a surprising amount of, like, detail, like, realistic looking shape and everything. Oh, yeah, and she hovers. Oh, and runs. Look at this running. What? Oh, dude, wow. Okay, this is pretty. How do we aim? How do we aim the gun? Left alt. Oh, left alt is the fly. Space is. All right, how are you aiming? <laughs> <laughs> I just went uh, back into uh, standing mode, I guess. So oh. AD, you can just turn around. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, run away! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna get it now. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, even I just noticed like the uh, the pigtails look great. Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually. Oh the. Wait, is that? So and that's tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I d I have no idea what game this is from, but I'm assuming you nailed it. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, wait, how did and I the do the skirt? Th Look at the skirt. Oh yeah. There's a lot of flappy parts here. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna the try gun to is do actually the... really cool looking too. Oh, the seat is in the gun. It is? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wow, this, is, this is actually pretty crazy. I can also shoot from here. Oh. Oh wait, we need to be on separate teams again. Oh no, wait, uh, <laughs> how do I, left alt, yep, there we go. <laughs> no, I lost my gun, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that was pretty cool. That was actually really well made. Really uh, st points for aesthetics here, like mm -hmm. god damn. Um, all right, awesome. Let's uh, check out the fantail. I think this is our first putt racer of the day. Uh, by Le, Le Doctor 7. I think we need to take this maybe at a place that's more fun to drive. Oh. Okay, nice. I like this. Just WASD. Like, I know how to do <laughs> that. Oh man, this thing, this thing oh, goes no. good. I crashed. Oh, oh, oh! I did too. <laughs> it's not. It doesn't have great suspension. <laughs> I get tiny yeah, little bump. The, the power coupler animation going to the oh yeah to the engines. Yeah, that pulsating effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first time I saw that was actually one of your videos. I think it's a really uh, it's a really cool effect. Yeah, and then yeah, people have been taking it to the next level. Fuck. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, I'm losing altitude. Wait, you're getting. Ah. <laughs> where did you get altitude from? <laughs> I said, well, I, I went, I went off the land and I started losing altitude oh, into okay. the water. <laughs> I thought there was some hidden uh, ascent feature I didn't know about there. It's really, I like the. Uh, oh. <laughs> whoa, wait, uh, 
What? Where did you I come spawned, from? <laughs> I just spawned at the spawn point right when you drove by. Oh my god. It has a very... And the sails are really good on this. Yeah, I was just about to say, I think the sails are a really nice touch. It's the turns are super stable, too. Yeah. yeah. That's really well done. Good paint job on the engines, too. Yeah, really well done. It has like kind of a Atlantis uh, Max, Mad Max vibe or something like that mm. to it. Very cool. Uh, let's see here. Bup, 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 bup. Next up is JJ J Lucky Speedboat Paraglider. Man, you guys really love your paragliders. Mm. Who hasn't seen a video of somebody gliding? Uh, while being tucked along by a speedboat with a rope. There's that rope again. Now you have the chance to do the same in Trailmakers. Get some speed and soar over the ocean like a seagull. Try to accelerate immediately after backspacing. Okay. I'll just go to the water. Oop. Whoa. Yeah, I definitely got a bit, bit of a weird start there. Alright, come on. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, go here on. we go. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's going on over there? Oh, that's a chirpo driving the boat. Watch out. Wait, what the hell? Oh, yeah. Wait, where is the seat? But you're, you're in the glider. Oh, oh, I'm in the glider, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that's, that's a good looking glider, too. Dude, that's really cool. That's that's creative. Well, I've been watching Scrapman for like five years. Surely I've seen some gliders. <laughs> yeah, I have <laughs> tried this with like, I think trailer hinges or something many uh, years ago. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Might be easier with the rope. I mean, the power coupling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the trailer hinges were pretty heavy. Yeah, I could imagine. I don't also think like if anyone suggested in real life to go paragliding with like trailer hinges as rope, I would say you have lost your mind, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the next one here. We're nearing the end of the steam builds. Uh, this is the Freck Tricoleur Formation. A cadet built by Sam X120. Eagle number two, thank you for following. Uh, the Freck Tricoleur for Complexity limits. I couldn't add more planes in the formation, sadly, but also the livery? Livery? I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but looks a bit bad because I w uh, would make Italian flag. Uh, all right. It's pretty hard to take off with do it from the aircraft carrier. Way ahead of you there. Is this like the Italy's uh, Blue Angels or something? I'm not big into... Oh, okay. uh, All right, here we go. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, nope. Almost kind of All right, I'm in the air. I cannot say the same thing. I need to resp <laughs> respawn. Uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, this, you can flip place. through smoke. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got to see that this person's power coupling layout because... Uh, we tried this too, the formation fly, and it was hard to get up, to get around the bending of the power couplers yeah. to keep a nice stable formation. This one I can see a little bit of bending, but it seems to be pretty under control. It actually seems pretty natural. Yeah. It actually looks like uh, three planes flying next to each other. Mm hmm. Well, that's really nice. And the smoke is a nice touch. You're absolutely right about that. Alright, coming in for a landing. Oh. Lost a couple of parts. I didn't even think about landing this. <laughs> My God, right, where I are these power couplers? Here I we go. I need to try that. Let's try. Oh, interesting. They had to create a T intersection of a in, of glass blocks or see-through blocks to uh, get the power couplings to meet up. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see that. Uh little connection mm -hmm. point in the back there. 
Oh. See, that's the, I guess that's the next thing you need to add now is um, an invisible paint color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just make everything invisible. Yep. <laughs> I'm not really going the way I was hoping I would go. <laughs> why? I don't really understand why I'm going that way. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. I think it was, uh, that's a very smooth, uh, like it, it looks, it looks pretty natural with this one. I've seen other people try to mm -hmm. pull it off with the power coupling and it usually like, I get the impression that usually it looks like just one of the planes just sort of dangles on the side. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's usually the outcome for a lot of uh, people, I feel like. All right. Uh, next up is uh, Huxy's Puppeteer. After a while, I'm back to submit another build challenge creation. By tilting the hand in certain ways, you can control the little puppet. Now guess what it represents. <clears throat> Hope you have fun gliding your own little puppet around. By Hoxy slash Nizze. Oh, wait. No. Oh, I messed up wait, here. Okay. Um, I messed up already. I'm just going to repair real quick to make sure everything is good. It's Pinocchio. Oh, that's kind of clever. Yeah, that is oh. pretty clever. That's a nice, well-made hand. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. That looks really good. Yeah. It's complicated. Yeah. That's not, that's not a simple, not a simple build there. And then there's rope, like uh, there's like rope tying the two sticks together, like or knotting the two sticks together. There is. Like uh, not real. Oh like, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I see that. Good attention oh. to detail there. Yeah, that's a really cool detail. The nails as well. Yep, the little Pinocchio doll. Yeah, great aesthetics on this. Really great. Again, a very, very uh, creative use of the power coupling. I'm getting mm -hmm. also sort of a... I'm thinking Master of Puppets. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of metal. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And he's a veteran. He forgot to put that in the description. I can see you in the chat. Nizze. All right. Turbo Airplane by Doxel. The turbos need to be able to communicate and travel places. So they made the turbo airliner with antennas so they could communicate uh, in case the pirates attack or just uh, to talk to each other. And the turbos uh, have to have a turret on top of the plane to defend against. Oh. Turbos are a bit violent here, I feel like. <laughs> they are peaceful, peaceful folk. Oh, is oh it really? Oh my goodness, this thing, has, this thing has rocket engines. Oh my goodness, that has so much. Like, this is definitely a turbo face and not my butt sticking out of it again, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. It turns oh. into a rocket, apparently. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I need the wings to come back out. Okay, there we go. Where is the E? Ooh! Oh, could just sparrow dive. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, you can apparently aim the guns up and down, but it messes with the wings a little bit. Oh. Okay, I need to uh, be able to weaponize my trip over here. Very, very subtle use of the power coupling on this one. <laughs> yeah, wait, what, wait a minute, where <laughs> is it even? <laughs> oh, it's... Uh... <laughs> wait, what is that supposed to be? Is it antennas? I think it's just like little antennas, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no auto-aim on this one. There's a million hinges. Yeah, you're not wrong, crazy bird. <laughs> oh, it's the little tiny cannon. Tiny blaster, whatever the name is. So it's actually uh, skill-based trail makers. Mm-hmm. Before the 1.6 update. This is how dogfighting happened. Just people shooting into the air, hoping to hit something. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much <laughs> impossible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, time for realistic turbo fight by Johannes. I forgot the time zones existed, so I'm a little late. That's a crazy thing to forget, dude. 
<laughs> Scrapman is here and he's uh he's he's very early morning time zone I feel like so I don't know what your uh, excuse is uh, IMDb pooper. What time is it in uh, where you are right now? Uh 10 10 14 oh, okay. AM. I thought it was uh, I thought it was a lot worse actually. Um all right. Let's take a look here. Uh, last steam build by Crazy Bird. It's the cinematic orbital cannon uh, by Crazy Bird. Took me This took me ages to make, so I hope you enjoy it. It uses the invisibility of the power couplings as well as the electric effect. The controls must be done in a certain order, so please read carefully. You don't know me very well, Crazy Bird. <laughs> Control sequence. Spawn on the carrier. Check. Uh... Or other low altitude spawn areas. Then enter first person. Step two, use left click. To, I'm never going to be able to remember. <laughs> use left click to enter aiming mode while you travel upward. Use the space, or use the arrow keys to move the craft towards your target. When the white light turns on, that means you have reached the desired altitude. Wait five seconds for the red stability light to come on. Then finally press E to enable the cannon startup sequence. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay, so. Okay, I think I got it. First person. Oh, I think I messed it up. Hold on, somehow my build got separated when I tried to drag it over. No oh, space no. and then arrow keys. Oh, we can use the same one, he says. Enter first person, left click, arrow keys, white light, E. So what after arrow keys? Can you see that in the description? You wait for the white light, I guess. Oh. Oops. Okay. For the white so, light. Enter first person. You're, you're not... In are you in first person? I'm in first person, yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. Something's happening here now. Oh, these are insane camera angles. Okay, navigate to the Oh, target. that was cool. That was right. really cool. Oh, arrow keys, my bad. I think it was a single use, though. All right, I'm slowly navigating to the debris. Didn't it say E to yeah, fire? No, what? one is fire. Okay. Um, let me make sure my... Looks like the white light is on. It's a very right. cool and camera. And fire. Oh, my guess we have a whole cinematic firing sequence. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like the. I really yeah, like the me. the camera angle when it sort of pans, uh, mm -hmm. and she's shooting down. Shik ten, thank you for following. Yeah, another very subtle use of the power couplers. Yeah, again, I they see them like inside effects. of the like the. Oh, I, oh yeah, I want, they're in like the power core too. Yeah, it's I want to cool. try to see it in. Uh, I want to see it in third person. Just for the heck of it. Oh, that's not possible, I guess. I can see it down here. <laughs> Man, there I really goes. like that last camera angle. That's very cinematic. All right. That was all of the Steam builds. Then we only have a few PlayStation builds, and then we are done. Uh, first up, we have Indiana Jones by Edo Proido Games. Hey, Johannes and Scrapman. I am Shrik. Yeah, the dude that have lost 29 <laughs> times. Oh, my God. And I'm here to win the control. <laughs> That's the spirit. Like, imagine that losing 29 times, and he's like, I'm here to win now. Uh, the controls are simple, so no need to say them. Have fun. Zero wins. Well, today might be your day, but that's going to be up to Scrapman. All right, looks like we got a whip. <laughs> oh, okay, we can walk around. 
safe. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's so goofy. <laughs> it is very goofy. The face is great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I fell down. <laughs> yeah, the face is actually really great. The eyebrows. <laughs> I actually whipped your arm off. <laughs> yeah, you did. It's a very powerful whip. Oh. 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 What? What did I just do? Come on. Oh my goodness. You got my head off, apparently. I don't need that, though. <laughs> it's oh, just, just but a flesh wound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how he just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That <laughs> was directly a, on the head. That was a clean hit. <laughs> oh, look at that. I can hop on one leg. <laughs> <laughs> here, come back here. You come back here. Oh. Oh. It's hard to time it. <laughs> you just threw your whip. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like that knight in the Monty Python thing. <laughs> yeah. All that right. Definitely well, a fun one. Yeah. We, we need Good a little. Belt. Yeah, we need a little. I mean, uh, not belt, but a uh, shoulder strap. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's nice too. That was a good little comic relief. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Boba's uh, pot racer. This one is actually I included this because I hold this one very dearly. I had this pot racer, this exact pot racer, as a Lego set when I was a child. Oh. And uh, there was like a show and tell day where we had to bring like the thing we loved the most. And uh, I have like still my parents have a picture of me holding up my uh, Sebulba pot racer in the classroom. Yeah. <laughs> Seven hundred complexity. It is such a cool looking pod racer. And this, I don't know if you remember in the movie, the sound it makes mm. is so satisfying. It has that rumbling. It's mm -hmm. just, oh, so good. Let's see if oh, I can wow. even control this thing. Whoa. This is, that is actually hard to control. <laughs> What's the stiffness on that uh, power coupling? You think? I feel like it's bending a lot. Go to the water spawn, it should work. Okay. Let's try that. Um It's definitely it's definitely nailed the look of it. Mine's spawning me underwater at the water spawn. <laughs> how? I don't know. I like how he's still using <laughs> hinges and uh for the uh, for the actual connecting part, except for the he actually made a true pot racer. There like I feel go. like people with the power mm. coupling now they use they use the power coupling block for like both the attachment to the motors and then attachment between the motors. This guy actually kind of made it the way it is in the movies, I think. Steering's yeah, a bit old. Fancy engines. Yeah. Oh, there's an eye. There's like an eye. Do you see the eye on the side of them? The eye? Yeah. On the engines. Up at the front. At the front? Wait, am I yeah, crazy? Yeah, the, fr the front. The outside of the, f of the front. Oh, the eye. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant eye like the litter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I see the eyes. Yeah. That's really good. Oh, shift and control are good steering. Oh, I was wondering what that did. Yeah, like it like tilts the thrusters. Interesting. Yeah, very, very aesthetic. Actually, curious what this looks like in build mode, because like some of those are, it, it looks like they're on an angle. I'm definitely oh. uh, this this one wins my heart. Sadly, yeah, that's, the whole uh, thing has to <laughs> rotate. Sadly, that doesn't mean much in this competition. But you have <laughs> you have the Johannes Hart Award here. You won the Johannes <laughs> yeah. the Johannes Hart League. 
Oh yeah, we should race, actually. Oh, maybe, okay. if that's Where possible. Where are we racing to? Um, maybe to the, uh, the long uh, strip, what is that point called? The, you know that long piece of strip with the ramp at the end of it? Yeah. So if oh, we let just me see if I can spawn, there. spawn from the water point. We're probably gonna. Oh, and I'm underwater. Hold I on. should maybe move just a little bit forward, so you don't spawn on me. Huh? It won't let me spawn there. Yeah, let me just. I'm just gonna go from here. <laughs> that works. If I can, I'm still getting a feel for the turning on this. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. That's why I picked a pretty easy route. Okay, it's not that long. Oh, maybe, okay, maybe okay. around that island and then back <laughs> down to the end of it. I just realized we are very close to it. <laughs> so it's gonna be a pretty boring race. Alright, where, where are we going? Um Okay, let's race to the to the uh to the island uh if you follow if you open the map and then you go left around the island and then there's uh -huh. that little peninsula kind of thing with uh, the black thing in the middle. The bridge? Yeah. Exactly. Let's race to okay. that. Alright. Going around the outside, right? Yeah. All right, count us in. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh, I don't know why I'm turning. That <laughs> <way>. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. It's like in the uh, in the movie when he sabotages uh, Anakin's yeah. pot racer. Oh no, no, now it's happening to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this is the steering is is really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's not easy. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, that's, oh, no. that's not allowed, man. That's not regulation pot racing. I feel like stuff like this happened in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. It does uh, seem I can like. I drive. Oh my god. I can just keep turning left in circles. <laughs> I don't know why. Let me try to. God damn. Uh. <laughs> Stop turning. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm having an okay general direction that I can follow. Okay, I really need to do a comeback now. <laughs> I really need to do a comeback now. It's probably not going to happen. Yep, feeling pretty good here. Yeah, I've learned I... how to sway back and forth enough to make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a script man victory, oh, I, I think. Killed myself on the bridge. <laughs> uh, all right. Face planted over the finish line. <laughs> yep. All right, that's a W for you, I guess. <laughs> I I, f I think I kind of figured it out in the end, but by then it was it was too late. I had turned around in circles for too long to catch up. All right. Wait, whoa, what's going on? Wait, is that my build or your? That's mine. The builder is being uh, a little bit strange. Okay, last build. Last build of the day is the ancient Mayan throne by Sir, <laughs> <laughs> Sir Phoenix the Dawn. I don't know if that's a pun or just like a, mm -hmm. just a typo, but uh, tired of walking we'll everywhere. See. Do you wish sometimes that you had a chair to sit on wherever you go? Don't feel like being stuck behind the controls of a chaotic vehicle just to enjoy the weather or spectate others while in comfort. Want to feel the remnants of power that belong to a god? Slaps thrown. <laughs> 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 well, this is just the thing for you. All right. Okay, I'm looking. There's a lot of big talk on this one. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh. I mean, that's oh, a pretty. Look, it goes. Oh, okay. That's I wasn't expecting it to actually go. Oh. I mean, that's a pretty cool, oh. like, hovering throne. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm the king of the jungle. Yeah, <laughs> it's very jungle aesthetic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that's that's the throne <laughs> part. To. Oh no, I'm ascending. I've won. <laughs> I've been chosen. <laughs> Do you think that's Due part of victory the victory in battle? <laughs> part of the build, the winner ascends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait, it does something when you press the down arrow. Yeah, I think it's one of the pistons gets activated. Yeah. 
Not sure if that does anything. All right. Is that all of them? That's all of the builds. Okay. So how many am I choosing? How what's what's the choice categories here? You're just choosing uh, veteran and cadet because Lucrum is kind of winner by default in the <laughs> in the all right. early bird so league. I wasn't. I didn't really see most of which was which categories they were in. No, but I think I have um, a pretty so good gist of it. Otherwise, uh, the chat is okay. usually uh, good to help. Well, my number one pick is pretty easy, and that is the Lord of the Skies by GC Ellis, which was this one right here. Yeah, I remember that. I was a pretty clear favorite of mine, too. Yeah, I think this was probably the most creative and uh, interesting use of the power couplers. Yeah. As not rope, uh, specifically. As not rope. <laughs> it's actually. Uh, so, is this. Which category is this in? GC Ellis is a cadet, I'm pretty sure. He has Does that mean first time? Yeah, first, first time. time he has participated wow. many times. I don't think he's ever won GC Ellis. He was in the chat earlier. I don't know if he left. Uh, but I think he's a cadet. Metalburger usually has. So he's going to pull up the Excel sheet in a second, I think. Yes, he <laughs> is. He is a cadet. So that's the winner. That's a very strong cadet submission. Yeah. yeah and I think that was uh, my number one out of all of them. Yeah. He has been trying for a long time, this dude, as well. So I'm, I'm happy he's, he's taking the W with this one. It's very much deserved. All right. All right. And I think I know my number two pick, uh, which is a veteran as well, which is the uh, Sacred Seraphim by Sumi or Sumi, which is this one here. Oh, the one. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah. 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 You know what? I 100 percent. I 100 percent agree with your picks here. I. Uh, oh, so I Actually, I so I was more distracted by the the gun and the I don't know if like those are wing things, but I just noticed that the wrists are also power couplers. Oh yeah, you're right about that. And that, I guess that gives them some flexibility to like bend with the gun and look more natural. Yeah, that's I, really cool. I I 100% agree with your picks here. I think these two were definitely the highlights. All right. Well, congratulations to the winners. Congratulations. Those are some very impressive creations. Summy These power couplers have added a whole new dynamic to the game. They for sure have, uh, and I think this is Summy's. I think he's back to back winner now. He won the last one too. Oh wow. Yeah, he's he's been doing impressive. well. So that's it. Uh, congratulations, Lucrum. <laughs> I guess. Congratulations <laughs> to you two, and congratulations to Summy, and congratulations to GC Ellis, who are the winners of the Nut Rope Challenge. I have not thought of a new theme. That's very typical me. Do you have any <laughs> ideas? Um. Hmm. What would be interesting? How about uh, rescue? Rescue. Just the the concept of rescue, because aren't you having like a rescue pack coming up soon? Oh, that's true. But maybe I should save. Or that should we wait for that? Yeah, I think uh, we yeah, should we wait. Wait till it's out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm. until people actually have the stuff from the pack. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, I didn't know if the pack was actually gonna have like pieces or something related to that that theme. Um, but hmm, let's see. And otherwise, maybe Chet has a has an idea. Tiny twenty twenty four. Would just be extremely small builds or what? Yeah, uh, like have you done? Have you not done a a tiny build I uh, have, theme before? I have not. Is that something I should do? Yeah, I mean, the, I've always found it really impressive when people can add a lot of detail in a really, really small build, and I've seen people accomplish that really, really well. But it's not easy. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, yeah. I'm sold. I I wasn't I wasn't sure about the idea first, but uh, if you say uh, if you say it's interesting, I believe that you are uh, you are the theory crafters of all theory <laughs> crafters in this game. Yeah, so, tiny miniature, you know, something along those lines. Yeah, tiny twenty twenty four. That's the new theme. 
And uh, well, that means that we are done here. Scrapman is standing victoriously on top of <laughs> my head as we are saying goodbye. And uh, thank you so much for joining us once again, Scrapman. Thanks for having me. Can't wait for another one sometime in the future. Let me know when you're going to have another event that you want me to be a part of, want me to be judge or choose the topic of. I, I know for sure that's going to happen soon. All right. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. See you next time.